Hi everyone, this is Moondan Raghavan. In this video, we are going to see the types of dependency injection. So, the types of dependency injection is constructor based dependency injection and setter based dependency injection. If you are not aware of what is dependency injection, we have the separate video to understand that. First, we will see constructor based dependency injection. So, if you see this class, driver class. It has the independency on license reference. When we create the driver object, we are passing the license reference into the constructor and we are denoting this to the IOC container by using at, at void annotation over the constructor. So this is called constructor based dependency injection. Next one, setter based dependency injection. In this class, the class name is college. In this, we have the dependency of department. So we need to send the department reference to the class. But here, instead of constructor, we have the set method. In this example, you can see set department. In this, we are sending the department reference to fulfill the dependency. Since we are using the set per set method, we are using auto void annotation over the set department method. So if you see both ways, setter dependency injection and constructor dependency injection, it looks almost same and you cannot find much difference, but there is a, some differences are there. Some of the main differences we will be discussing here. First one, drawback of setter injection is that it does not ensure the dependency injection because it's like a normal other method. It is not a constructor because the constructor will be invoked as soon as you create the object. To create the object, the basic need is it should execute the constructor. Since it's not a constructor, we cannot guarantee that object is, or the dependency is fulfilled or not. Next one, constructor injection does not allow you construct object until your dependencies are ready. So if the constructor injection fails, then you will not have the object at all. So it definitely ensures that the object has the dependencies all fulfilled. Next one, drawback of setter injection is a security. By using setter injection, you can override the certain dependency which is not possible with the constructor injection. Because every time you call the constructor, a new object is get, gets created. Second one, circular dependencies. So I hope everyone knows that what is circular dependency. Let's say you have an object A, which has the dependency of B, the same class, B has a reference for A. So both are waiting for the other object to be fulfilled or other objects to be created. So in this case, you will get object currently in creation exception. So if you, have, if you are going with the constructor dependency injection, you will be having, or you may be getting this problem. So for that, we can use the setter constructions method. So setter injection has upper hand over the constructor injection in steps of readability. If you see the setter injection, you will be knowing what is the dependency you are setting and the readability is more when you compare to the constructor injection. Conclusion. So use setter injection when a number of dependencies are more and you need the readability. Let's say you have dependency more than five or six then using all this in a constructor is not a good programming method. So that time we will go as a setter injection method. And if you want need more readability, so that time we will go to setter injection. Next, use constructor injection when object must be created with all of its dependency. So let's say in one scenario, you want one object to be created to fulfilling all its dependencies is created at the time of that object creation. So you want to mandatory to get that object with all the dependencies created or all the dependencies fulfilled, that time you will go with the constructor injection. So this is a reference I referred for the comparison of the constructor dependency injection or the setter method different dependency injection. And I will mention this reference in the comment section also. You can watch that. I hope I covered the differences between the types of dependency injection and the what is the comparison both between this Thank you all. Thanks for watching.